Autumn's here, winter will quickly follow. We all want light, warm homes, but it's vital to save money and energy. Here are some simple solutions to enhance your decor and cut your energy bills. You've heard the expression, all smoke and mirrors. Well, it's true. You can create all sorts of illusions with mirrors. What you want is less artificial light, more natural light. And the best way of achieving that is to have light, bright walls and a mirror near a window. And that's when you get a bright, naturally lit room. Oh, and clean your windows. Not a lot is getting past that dirt and grime. Of course, we do need artificial light, and finding the right lighting that works for your home can be tricky. Why do you need to light the whole of a room when you're just sitting in one corner reading a book? Just remember, mat. Mood, ambient, accent, and task. All lighting creates a mood. Ambient light is a softer light, which you can get from wall lights and lamps. Dimmers can really help take the edge off overhead light to make it warmer. Accent light is the most creative, used to highlight a specific area, like a pendant light over a table. And task, a bright, focused light for reading and close work. Lighting doesn't need to be all about big and bright. You create a fantastic mood by having specific lighting focused on specific areas of the room. The added benefit? You save energy, you save money. Throughout your home, using table lamps instead of floor lights or overhead lighting can save energy. Or for maximum efficiency, try some stylish LED lights. With so many lamp bases and shades to choose from, you can really enhance your home. Energy efficient light bulbs use 80% less electricity than standard light bulbs. And they last longer, saving you energy and money. It's a win-win situation. Changing lampshades is an easy way to change or update your decor with minimum fuss. You can make this lampshade. You can make a lampshade that no one else has. It's completely unique to you. And it's really very easy. The number one piece of advice I'd give is get everyone out of the house. You'll need wire frame lampshade rings, selpar PVC, any leftover fabric or a pretty roll of wallpaper to match your decor, double-sided sticky tape, cutters or scissors, and some form of weight. This stuff, Selpar, is the great tool for lampshade making. Essentially, it's hardened sticky back plastic. You measure the circumference of your rings, and then you cut a piece of Selpar, which is that length. Plus, and this is so important, your overlap. So about an inch extra. Now, this is the magic of Selpar. Peel that back. And this is a very important part of the technique. You fold it back on itself. There we are. Next step, your double-sided tape. So this is what you're going to use to turn over the edges of the paper and stick this and the Selpar to the rings. You just go all the way down the sides, sticking the thicker tape to the paper and the thinner one to the Selpar itself. Now your shade is very near completion. What you've got to do is cut along here. So you've got your two bits of tape stuck on and you're cutting this edge here. So remember we've got two ends. This is what I call your good end, which will overlap and be on the top. And this is your scruffy end, which will be underneath. And what you do here is you cut to the edge of the cell part. There. It's starting to look a lot more like a lampshade. Two more bits of sticking. Inch tape here on your good end. There, like that. Half inch tape on there. There we are. We're all taped up. All we've got to do now is attach the ring to the paper covered cell part. Now this does look tricky and I don't usually talk during it, but it's really very simple. Just place the rings on the thin tape, which is very sticky, and just roll to your heart's content. Easy peasy. P 
Peel and stick the two taped ends of your lampshade together and firmly press down. Do the same at the top of your lampshade, carefully folding your edges over. If you go really slowly, and this is neat, you'll get a thrill every time you switch your lamp on. If you rush it and it's not neat, it'll just irritate you a little bit every time. There we are. On the bottom ring overlap, remember to cut out tabs to fit around the three stems. And there it is, a perfect lampshade to brighten any room.